Hello, my brothers and my sisters. This is Brother West coming to you again. And today I'm going to talk about a controversial topic, particularly for those pastors or those pseudo leaders who have bad intentions. And today I want to talk to the ladies about the mindset of a man, the mindset of a man. One of the, do, the do's and don'ts that you shouldn't do to isolate that man. The first thing that we must do, the Bible tells us in Mark um, 10 and 9, what God has put together, let no man separate. If you look in the Bible from the beginning of time, from the beginning of when God created Adam and woman and gave them a charge and a steward to watch over the garden. And we notice that sin and disruption came when there was someone in the presence of Adam and Eve besides God. In other words, anytime there's another voice or someone else speaking in your union and it's not God, there lies destruction. That's why the Bible says, let no one come in between, come to separate. That was the command that God gave the man and the woman. And we look and we see the serpent, uh, slew foot, Lucifer, coming to bring destruction. One of the dangerous things, and one of the most dangerous things, the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us that when a man finds uh, a wife, he finds a good thing, and he obtains favor from God. Favor in a relationship, favor in a marriage, is when they're together. When they're, the Bible tells us, how can two walk together except they be in agreement? When that man and that woman is walking in agreement, they're talking, uh, they're in, in harmony, then that's when God's glory and that's when God's favor will happen, when that's when things will come, our uh, blessings will come. But one of the things that will cause not for a couple to have favor is uh, disagreement. One of the do's and don'ts also in church, if I can talk, if I can talk from experience, is that ladies, make sure that you always make sure that your husband is the head of your house. Make sure that he's up high in your life and not your pastor. Many times, many ladies, they put their pastor on a pedestal and make that husband feel beneath that or beneath. And it feels like that husband is fighting for that wife's attention. And so, and see, see, lady, if, if you want him to come to church, that, that ain't how you do it. See, because now what you're doing, now what you're doing, you're bringing division because you're bringing someone else in between. And you got now that man wanting to fight for your love. Jealous. That's not God. See, you're out of order. But the way to get in order is to, whatever kind of problem, or whatever kind of issue that you have, if you do want to bring your pastor in to counsel, bring both. Bring your husband in, husband as well. Don't just talk to your pastor alone. That's not, that's not a counseling. That's not a counseling about your husband. Or even about your wife, man. You come together. See, then by, when you're doing that, that'll keep the devil out. And see, many marriages are under under rocks or in, under, in divorce court. It's because they're not using wisdom. They're bringing someone else into that union and it's causing that man, that husband, to feel a certain kind of way. And see, you know, you have to deal and handle a man any kind of way, a certain kind of way. Because, see, you have to deal with a man based on his love and his ego. Because if a man feels like he can't trust you, if you feel like he don't, you don't have his back when he needs you the most, he ain't, he ain't gonna want you. So that's why it's so important to make sure that the man is Lord, small ill in your life. Make sure he's the king in your house, not your pastor. Because when you bring the pastor in your house, then you're bringing confusion. You bring another man, you bring another affair into your home. So I'm just talking to you. I'm just talking to you about wisdom. You have to keep certain things out. Mama, daddy, keep everybody out of your union. Everybody out of your relationship. If you have an issue, if you have a problem, you and that person, you talk about it. You work it out some kind of way. And if you have to, go through counseling. But do it the right way. Don't go behind that other person's back. Because the moment that you go behind that other person's back and they feel that way, when they feel that way, they feel betrayed. And when that man, woman, feels betrayed, he's going to shut down. And see, say for example, you are going to church, but your husband's not safe. The Bible said that the, 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 sanctified, the wife sanctified the unsafe husband. And all your job is to do is to keep going to church. Don't be beating him down. Don't be talking down to him. And talk about what he's missing out on. And talk about how good the church is. The pastor and all of that. No, you, you love that man. See, because your first minister is your man. Your first minister is your house. Not the preacher. Not the church. 
God first, family second, church last. Never put your church, never put no pastor before your wife, your husband. Because when you do that, you're out of order. That's when curses come, and that's when God's favor will not come. If you want to wonder, wonder why your, your life and your relationship isn't favored by God, you are not being blessed, you're still walking under a curse, it's because you're out of order. Anytime one, one wife and one husband is going to another church, that is out of order. And God can't bless that. And if anybody's perpetuating that, and if anybody's agreeing with that, they're out of order too. Because your, the blessing of a house, of a man's house, of a woman's house, of a union, is when they're in that same house together. They're doing things together. They're praying together. They're going to church together. They're loving together. Oh God, God bless you. Remember, remember, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Charity begins at home. Amen. God bless you.